Hey everybody, this is Stefan Carlson with Carlson Projects and I want to introduce to you a new video series that we're going to be doing called Don't Hire Us If. And basically that means we don't want you to hire us if there's something that you can do on your own. Sometimes it doesn't make sense for you to call five different contractors, call them all in schedule times if there's something that's simple enough that you can do yourself. We want to provide you guys something that is valuable in the fact that you can go out and do it yourself that you can create a, a product or a result on your own home and you don't have to call five other contractors to get a bid on. Uh, that's just something that we, we would love to do for you and that's something that we firmly believe in and we call it legacy over currency. This screw here is for me screwing through the attic so I know where I want to put the Brown vent according to where the bathroom is positioned in front of the house. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this shingle, this shingle, and I'm going to leave this one in because this one's going to want to go on top of the vent. I might have to cut a little bit of it out. And then this one will go on top of the vent and this one down here will be underneath the vent so when the water comes down it will run off those top shingles and maybe onto the vent and then onto the shingle underneath so the water does not get trapped underneath any of the shingles or the vent. But the nail taking out, that part's probably one of the more difficult because you have to be really delicate with it and make sure you're not damaging the shingles because you know you you get so focused on the nail sometimes and you can pop the shingle I'm holding on top you can actually rip through that one with your hand or or rip the one you're working on with, with the pry bar all right, I think I'm also gonna take out this shingle here just so when I drill here I don't cut out a bunch of it. What's nice about having the top shingle out first is I don't have to reach underneath the shingle to get the next one. This piece right here is the collar for this. So when I put this down on the hole, this will stick into the hole. And it does screw in slightly, so it won't pop out. But this will be what the insulated piping, adjustable piping will be attached to inside the attic. So I'm gonna put this in here. And it's got a little gap here for you to start to get the twist started. She'll pop right in. So she'll be loose, but she she doesn't pop out. And she lays flat. So now what we will do is figure out where we want to station it all, and then we'll nail her down. We'll cut the shingle underneath, and we'll caulk all the nail holes, and start putting the old shingles in and cutting them to fit. So what I'm doing here is getting ready to cut this shingle. Because this shingle is going to need to lay underneath here, but the shingle cannot obviously lay in the hole where the vent goes through the roof. So I'm going to have to cut that area out, but I want to keep it as close to that hole as possible so water isn't able to get in there. So what I'm going to do is cut that out here so the vent will be able to rest on here and the water will be able to run off. So what I'm doing is I'm lining it up so I can see where the vent meets, and I'll take two little marks the areas where it will need to be cut at 
or start to cut. So I'm going to measure the vat runs down right here. So I'm going to start cutting there, leave a little mark. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I know that area needs to get cut. Now what I'll do is I'll lay it where the shingle needs to be. And I'll line it up where it's going to be laid. Then I can see where that vent hole starts. So it, within the area that I already marked up here that's going to be cut out, within that, I will mark where the vent begins so I know where to end the cut and meet the cut. It looks like it's about right here in the nail strip. So since I'm in between these two that are going to get cut out, I'm going to mark it in there a little bit. Your goal is to keep as much as the shingle still in there as possible just so it is more likely to keep moisture away from the vent. When you're cutting the shingles like this, I'm using a hook blade on a utility knife. You need to be careful not to cut the shingles underneath or cut on a piece of cardboard or something like that. I'm holding the shingle off the shingles underneath so I'm not cutting them. So after you've cut it, what you want to do on the bottom one is start to slide it underneath the vent. Now before I put this first shingle in, I'm going to cock the old nail holes as far underneath as I can to keep old moisture or old water that might get in there from leaking through the underlayment. Now we're going to install this next, this bottom shingle. Since we have everything cut and it's spaced out neatly, we'll nail her down in place and get ready to put the vent on top. <laughs> This shingle right here has the screw hole in it where I drilled it from the attic. Since that is now where that hole is for the vent, that will be cut out. So you don't have to worry about making a hole in the shingle. So now I'm going to line this one up again in the spot it should be at about.
Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to one of our Don't Hire Us If videos. Um, we would love it and we would appreciate it a lot if you like this video, to like it and subscribe down here or over here or wherever that thing's going to be. So reach out to us, tell, you what you, tell us what you thought, 